what if producing green energy could also be considered eco-art? Solar is a hot commodity in the arena of distributed renewable energy. The wind, however, hasn't picked up much speed. A new concept tackles multiple problems with small wind turbines in one design. In the past, it was common for only inefficient turbines to be able to produce little noise. Turbines were placed close to each other, resulting in lower performance. People were concerned about bird killing, and the turbine's appearance prevented zoning. Tulip wind turbines, however, use innovative aerodynamics and design to make small wind turbines that can be used near people and buildings. They are offered in several sizes, are visually pleasing, and are practically silent. Their higher efficiency compared to turbines of a similar class allows them to produce electricity at lower wind speeds, and their clustering effect allows more turbines to be installed cost-effectively for better performance in any suitable location. A Dutch company is making wind tulips to hide the unsightly nature of sustainable energy generation. The popularity of conventional wind turbines is not at an all-time high. Despite Europe's present efforts to achieve climate neutrality by 2050, generating net zero emissions, the primary reasons are the noise they produce and the negative effects they have on the environment, such as the danger that flying animals like birds and bats face from whirling turbine blades. The creation of vertical turbines offers a remedy for this issue. They are more compact, quieter, and can adapt to shifting wind directions. A considerable portion of a household's energy needs may be met by a few of them on a rooftop. American Flower Turbines is one of the companies attempting to come up with an affordable alternative. The compact wind turbine's aerodynamic shape allows them to produce more energy per square meter than solar panels in windy places, in addition to being aesthetically beautiful. In crowded public spaces and on urban rooftops in the Netherlands and Germany, the wind tulips have already come to the forefront. So, what do you think? Are so-called tulip turbines the solution of the energy issue? Thanks for watching.